This is my ship. This is the accommodation. And this is my cabin where I'll be staying for the next three months. What I like in this ship is that the office where I am now, you can check out the full video about the office tour and the desk setup, the link will be at the end of the video and in the description. So the office is separated from the cabin, which is in the other side. So the working hours are separated from the resting hours. Unlike the majority of the ships, they are all linked together, the cabin, the office and the day room. Let's get started. So in front of my office, we have a small pantry with small sink, coffee machine for everyday use. This machine is very important on board ships. A uh, small fridge with coffee beans, milk, some fruits. So near my office, we have the chief engineer office. Over there, we have the pilot cabin when he stays on board. And from here, we have the owner's cabin when they come on board as well. In the middle, we have the stairways with the lift or elevator. And in this side, we have the chief engineer's cabin and my cabin. From this area, I can access to my bedroom, saloon, and the bathroom. So the doors are not normal doors. They are rated a zero fireproof, which can withstand fire. Safety card to remind the crew about their duties in case any emergency. bathroom access, the bedroom, and the day room. I have small space with a closet to hang my coverals, Helmets, jackets, winter cap ready to go on deck. A flashlight in case of blackout. A single hanger where I keep my jump ropes ready for gym time. and a mirror where I can check myself before leaving my cabin and this is the first mirror we'll see the others later the bedroom first thing first is this queen size bed with a comfortable mattress comfy pillows and two drawers under the bed to keep spare bed sheets and extra blanket for cold days and this beautiful goose made by our mess man a large two night tables a classic wooden alarm clock that I carry in my luggage I try to keep all my phones and electronics outside of my bedroom this is to avoid any distraction and to have good sleep and rest which is essential on board books to read before bed or during my allocated reading daily slot Usually I carry only 3 to 4 books since they are a bit heavy and if I complete them before I sign off, I switch to my Kindle. A porthole or window with a nice view. Here I have the bridge alarm system. In case the timer is not reset on the bridge, then this alarm goes off in my cabin to alert me. Public announcement speaker. Shelves to keep my books, my caps, etc.
bench of nice closets for my clothes and uniform. These cupboards are more than sufficient, I don't use them all. You can see here, some of them are empty. I keep my suitcase here. I'm planning a video to show you what are all the items I carry with me when I join my ship. On the top, we have the immersion suit and life jacket in case any emergency. I will show you a trick how to wear your life jacket in one second and remove it in one second. Easy, isn't it? Couple of lights, smoke detector, and AC regulator. Another access to the bathroom, a hanger to keep my uniform ready to go, just near must have iron and ironing table. I cannot survive without these. A mirror, and this is the second one to check myself after I get dressed up. A large artwork A laundry basket It is written Batman on it, I don't know why, maybe I'm the Batman Anyway, this is to keep my clothes for laundry Drawers I keep some spare extra stuff here to cover the full contract Now let's move on to the day room or saloon So the salon has two lighting modes, the day bright mode or the night cozy mode where you can watch TV, read a book or just relax. Let's go back now to our tour. At the entrance I have this large table where I keep all my ready to go stuff. Like my watch, glasses, keys and my bottle of water to stay hydrated some snacks, tea, kettle for coffee or tea nice light couple of drawers, garbage bin box of mineral water Just beside the table, a nice fridge with some soft drinks, milk, fruits. Two large sofas when I just chill with a friend or a colleague, or I use it as a bed during heavy weather. A nice coffee table. I have this single incliner which I use to relax in the evening Watch TV or just chat with my family A large TV with satellite receiver A DVD reader with some DVDs couple of other sofas a big speaker that can be connected to TV to create a cinematic atmosphere a ready to go foldable chair which is very important for me I will show you why at the end of the video another night lamp a wall clock connected to the master clock a small chair to put on my shoes I keep here my different shoes for gym uniform, daily shoes, etc. Bench of nice lockers, cabinets,
Look what I found here. You think it is quality street cookies and candies? It is not. It is sewing items box that everyone has at home, even on board. A large desk where I keep all my tech and electronics. This is another phone with the same number. If they call the captain's office, all these phones ring so I can pick up from wherever I am. I have this charging hub. I like things to be tidy and clean. So instead of multi chargers, I use only one with different cables to charge my phones, Kindle, headphones, camera batteries, etc. Couple of shelves where I keep my tech accessories, lot of space here. Another PA system speaker, a backup calling system in case the telephone fails. A desk chair, more camera gears, couple of desk drawers where I keep my subscribe button. So if you are not subscriber yet, please consider doing so. Three portholes for grid view. The captain's cabin is always situated in the starboard side for any ship. Starboard side or right side is giveaway side in the rule of the road or color egg. And the captain is expected to see the traffic on starboard side of his ship just to be aware of the traffic situation where it is his ship duty to take action. He can then also monitor if the officer on the watch has taken the required action to avoid close quarter situation. And the other theory, the cabin is straight in the right side because the captain is always right. I don't know. Anyway, let's continue our tour. More artwork on the bulkhead for a relaxed atmosphere. And this is all about the day room. Let's move on to the bathroom now. The bathroom. So the bathroom has two doors. One from here, when I'm outside or in the salon and I want to use the bathroom for quick access. And another door from the bedroom. This bathroom is quite big compared to the other cabins. It has shower, with water temperature regulator, and a large bathtub to rest and relax after a long day standing on the bridge. Here you hang the towels. The vessel moves, we are not at home, so sometimes you need to hold yourself by one hand and showering by the other hand, or just avoid showering during heavy weather. A small sink for daily use, Both the sink, soap holder, and cup holder. A power socket to charge my toothbrush or to use the hair trimmer. Two large lights. A mirror with storage where I keep my private items. And thumbs up button. So if you like my cabin so far, hit this button. Yes, I know. Here where I keep the like button. And this is the third mirror to check myself. A toilet with a garbage bin. Hair dryer. A 
just above a bathroom seat. A bathroom scale. This is my scale I carry it in my luggage to track my weight. We do have bathroom scales on board but they are basic. This is smart scale has a dedicated app where I can track my weight, body fat, BMI, etc. And this is the fourth mirror. Basically, this is the cabin. Let's see my favorite part now. I need to take the foldable chair and let's head outside. But first, let's change the outfit. Comfortable pants, a nice t-shirt, let's grab sunglasses, a book, and let's go. This is my favorite daytime. After working hours and just before sunset. I come usually here for my daily reading time. Or just to relax and admire the sunset. Let's speed up the video so you can enjoy the view. I hope you enjoyed the video. You may check out the office tour. It will be linked here or here. And see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.